hello everyone welcome to my channel so in today's video i'm going to share a very tasty recipe so easy to do and i'm also going to show you how i prep my ingredients okay the main ingredients that i cook with i'm going to show you how you can make your life a whole lot easier okay this is a long video so if you want to skip straight to the recipe i'm going to pin um, i'm going to pin the time um, stamp so you know exactly when the recipe starts okay but the entire video i'm pretty sure you are going to enjoy because i think it's very very useful it's very helpful and this makes your life 100 percent easier if you cook a lot if you are a cook uh, such as myself i cook a lot so prepping your ingredients is such a huge huge help okay so i hope you are going to enjoy job okay so if you are someone who cooks I was going to say if you are a mother but even fathers some fathers cook cook so if you are someone who cooks a lot such as myself okay I'm going to show you what I do when I have time because this takes me about two hours or more sometimes okay but what i'm doing today i want to prep my ingredients my the main ingredients that i use for my cooking i want to prep them it's about a two hour sometimes even a three hour sacrifice but my goodness this is going to save you so much time next time you want to cook so Basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to be dicing so many onions and um, green onions, celery, bell peppers, garlic, garlic. So it's going to be a, a big job. I'm, hope, I'm hoping that this is going to take me about two hours. I hope, I hope it's not going to be beyond two or more than two hours. So definitely this is a huge tip. Okay, so let's not even waste a lot of time. We have to get going. Okay, so what I've done is I have washed my onions. I've washed them. I washed my, let me show you. Oh, I have a bunch of green onions. It's heavy, but I washed all of them. Okay, so, and I have my garlics okay it's a lot i've everything i've washed i let them dry and i was waiting for I'm, i was supposed to supposed to do this video like a few days ago but i have a bad habit of peeling my skin i peel my skin so much i'm trying to stop this habit but i've had it for so many years so what happens is i'll be peeling my skin the tip of my skin i'll peel it and then it bleeds and then i can't work like touching onions and stuff like that because it hurts so i was waiting for my skin to heal so that i can do this okay so the first thing what i'm going to do i'm going to be using this device that I have, I've been having this for so many years, for about, for so many years, so many years. I don't even know how many years, maybe over 10 years, no, even more than 10 years. So this is what I'm going to be using. It's so old, okay? It's so old and, um, and I can't find another one like this. This is the best, okay? For my onions, the All way right, I so do I'm it. going to grab my onion, okay? I'm going to, of course, take away 
the skin I'm telling you this is not a joke okay and eyes oh my gosh so I've washed my hands very well I made sure I don't have a you know, I don't have big hair because I'm dealing with a lot of dicing. It's just a lot. Okay? And took away all of this. Take away the top of the onion. I put it there. I'm going to try and use force and see if I can do an entire onion. And this is not easy, you gotta be strong, you gotta have muscles. muscles. So, one onion, my eyes already. Woo. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'll go ahead and put it in a Ziploc bag. Okay, so I make sure it's only one onion, and I feel like my eyes are on fire. How am I gonna do when I'm dealing with like over 100 onions? Oh my gosh. <laughs> so these are like medium, medium sized onions. Mm -mm -mm -mm. This is not a joke. Those onions are so fresh. So this is an entire onion and I'm putting it inside and I'm making a mess already. I'm dropping some on the floor. Mm -mm -mm. But I'm going to be putting my onions in my ziplock bag just like that okay so that's one onion mama mia my eyes burning my eyes okay so i'm going to make sure i suck up all the air like that and I use a very good a Ziploc bag that's very sturdy. Okay, this is very sturdy, so it's it's going to keep it more fresh when it's so strong. Okay, don't use a cheap, please don't use a cheap one. Okay, so this is an entire onion. I'm gonna put it away, and I'm going to do the same for the next one. Okay, same process. Voila, just like that and I'm going to use I'm going to do the same thing got muscles oh. Woo! two down 98 more to go <laughs> I want to cry but it's so much easier okay it is going to save me a lot of times on my on my cooking okay so I'm going to be doing this honey for all of the onions that you see I'm going to be doing the same 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 thing okay so when I'm going to be done what I'm going to do I'm going to be putting them in my freezer okay so I have and I have the amount of onions that I have is going to last me about two months okay so for the next two months I'm not gonna be dicing onions I'm going to be good on that okay after a lot of crying because trust me I'm gonna be crying here in a moment this is not a joke. Voila. 
all right guys i'm just going to go ahead and let you watch until i'm done with all the onions
So this was a very big night. It was a lot to do. But so basically I went ahead and um I you know I chopped, I cut off, I cut all of my um all of the like celery, steaks, uh green onions, bell peppers, um and of course onions, okay, and also garlic. So that's just what I was doing. So uh this this helps me a lot and uh i had a big quen especially onions i had a lot of onions i think i honestly think the onions are, go are going to last me three months i have a lot of onions okay so and then you know whenever you but before you put it in the freezer make sure you suck all all of the air as as much as you can okay so don't leave don't leave air inside so this can last longer so it's very easy okay so these are my bell peppers i have the red and the green ones i don't use bell peppers a lot so this is why i don't have to it's a lot okay I, I, it still is a lot but it's not so much because i don't use them a lot okay and you don't need a lot of bell peppers when you cook anyways just a little bit of bell pepper goes a long way okay so this is why i i just didn't have too much of that so i know the video is long but i hope this is entertaining you a little bit i hope it's helping you i, I hope it's giving you an idea um if you don't want to watch all of this you can definitely skip to the you know you can skip to the recipe it's a very nice recipe you guys don't want to miss out on it okay it's very good um the african chicken the hard hard chicken is so yummy especially if, if you know how to cook it so i'm going to show you how i cook mine and everyone loves my chicken i'm telling you that everyone who whoever tasted my food especially my chicken everyone loves it so the garlic i always take off the middle you know that green um the green on growing or end growing leaf i take it off long time ago when i was a little girl a doctor um that was like my mom my mother's cousin always told us that that green thing in inside the garlic is um it's poisonous so I still believe it, even though I've done my research and it doesn't say that it's poison, but I still just take it off. I, I take it off. So this was a lot of work and um, I didn't show because the video is too long, but I had my kids helping me with the garlic because it's just, it was too many, too many, too much work, too much energy. I needed assistance. I needed help and they definitely helped me. Okay. So, uh, I hope this is helping you and I hope you can try to use this, um, in your house, you know, use this method of, um, you know, prepping your ingredients. 
So this is all of them. I put them in the freezer. Look at all the onions. It's a lot of onions, okay? And all of my greens, you know, basically green onions, uh, celery sticks, bell peppers, garlic, you name it, okay? Everything is there. It's very good to go and it lasts a very long time, okay? As long as your freezer works very good, you are going to be good. In a bucket, put some warm water and essential oils and soap dump your hands for about 10 minutes to get rid of the onion smell okay very practical all right guys so after taking a nice warm shower after about three hours and 25 agonizing hours of dicing and peeling and cutting you name it so this took me about three hours and 25 minutes <clears throat> oh my gosh but anyway so now I wanted to just quickly show you a recipe okay I'm going to share with you a very yummy recipe of the hard hard chicken okay uh, otherwise we call it African chicken so it's not you know it's not so it's not your regular chicken it's not soft so it's a little bit harder you have to cook it longer okay so I'm going to share with you this recipe it's very yummy so the first thing I'm going to do is bring over my chicken okay so let me grab my chicken bring it over <laughs> my voice I'm not getting light I'm still a little rusty I don't know why but let's grab the chicken <clears throat> so I have washed my chicken very well so what I'm going to do is bring you um, closer to the chicken so uh, you can right, see so my chicken I've washed it very well okay so I'm just going to cut it in half because this is going to be just for my husband and I okay so just like that and then I'm going to divide it in two okay I'm going to make one piece bigger than the other because the bigger one is mine. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm trying to divide them into three equal sizes, okay? And if you notice more hair, just take it off. I washed it very well, but sometimes you still have that little bit of hair sticking out, okay? So just make sure you remove it and I'm going to just make sure I rinse it again real quick, okay? Alright guys, I made sure I rinsed my chicken very well and we are going to go ahead and put it uh, inside the pot and we go ahead and put my chicken okay just like that and I'm going to start putting my ingredients remember all of the ingredients we have diced so this makes the process super quick and easy okay I'm going to be adding my this is two I'm sorry this is a stick of celery divided by three okay so, and garlic. I have three large garlics. Put them inside. I have about a small red bell pepper. You divide it by, you divide it by five and you use one fifth of it. I have about two green onions. Okay, I put them inside. I've shredded my ginger roots. This is about a fingertip size or your thumb, thumb, okay? So this is like a thumb size of ginger roots that I've shredded and I put it inside as well, okay? Just like that, put it inside. And I'm going to be adding a little bit, so I'm going to be putting a pinch of nutmeg like that, okay? And I'm going to be adding my bay leaves okay i'll be adding about uh, two bay leaves okay 
like that one and two that's it two bay leaves and what I'm going to do guys I'm going to be adding just a little bit of water okay just a little bit of water and um, <coughs> A bit of water you just add like that and we are going to cover and this is going to be basically cooking for about an hour and 20 minutes okay so after about 15 minutes come check on it just make sure this is not burning okay easy and did you see how quick that was so this was extremely quick okay since um we had already diced i'm sorry i'm trying i'm trying to adjust my camera but since we already diced our onions and everything this was very quick and that's what you want to do and we need onions too <laughs> we need onions okay so let's go in the fridge and get the onions that we had we already to cut. grab our onions all right guys so i'm just going to go ahead and grab one onion okay so this is one onion i made sure that doesn't have a number here because the one that has two onions i had labeled two like this like this one for example this is two okay because it's two onions so i'm grabbing the one onion and we are going to go ahead and put that in our chicken. All right, my lovely people. So I'm just going to go ahead and add it just like that, okay? In the chicken. Voila. Easy right, as guys, one, Let's two, come and check on our chicken. Oh yeah, it's looking very good. It's looking very good. You see that? Okay, so I'm just going to turn it just like that. Okay, this is perfect so far. And I'm just going to be adding a little bit of water. Okay, I'm just going to add a bit of water. Okay, and just like that, I'm going to cover and let it cook more. Okay. We're gonna come and check again in about um, 10 minutes, okay? We'll keep adding water until our chicken is tender. The way we have this, okay? So I have my petite, um, it's yep, petite medley, so gourmet potatoes. So I'm just going to go ahead. That's what I want to eat, okay? This is what I'm going to be eating. Um, with my chicken okay so i'm just going to wash them very well and i'll show you how i'm going to i'm going to do them okay so i'm gonna put them here so i can wash them I'm just gonna wash them very, very well, okay? Just like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna be poking. I'm gonna be poking them. Because what I'm going to do is boil them, okay? I'm going to be boiling them and I want um the salt to penetrate very well and I'm also going to have um, some nutmeg you'll see what I'm going to I'm going to do so just make sure you poke each potato very well also going ahead and putting the potatoes in my pot just like that and I'm going to be adding water
and I'm going to be adding a little bit of salt I'm adding a bit of nutmeg just like that I'm going to cover it turn my stove on a medium heat okay and uh, this only takes about 10 to 12 minutes okay after about 12 minutes it's going to be done and then we are going to deep fry One the potatoes okay minutes later okay so our chicken is just about done and the way you know it is by poking you see that when you poke it's not uh, hard anymore, so that's perfect. So that means the chicken is ready. I'm just going to now add about a small, how can I, so basically this is like a half ounce of a tomato paste. I'm just gonna be adding. This adds a lot of flavor into the chicken, okay? Since it's almost done, I'm going to be adding that, okay? And just make sure you put it all over the chicken okay and what I'm also going to do is add this is optional but we like spicy so I'm going to be adding um, habanero pepper I'm going to be adding piment okay so I'm gonna be adding um, one habanero pepper just like that and you see how my chicken is looking super sexy okay this is so good okay there is no one who has ever tried my chicken and said no to it everyone goes crazy about my chicken and today I'm sharing the recipe with you okay so this is just about done I tasted my salt and it's perfect okay so I'm just going to be putting the chicken in the oven okay it is looking good look at that let me let me show you closer you see that and we are just about to put it in so basically this is our chicken that is it's pretty much ready but what I'm going to do just to give it extra 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 flavor is putting it in the oven and it's going to just be a little bit more crispy a little bit more crunchy on the um, on the skin you know all around the chicken so we are going to put it in the oven um, at 350 degrees for about 10 minutes and that's it and then we can enjoy okay all right guys so after about uh, 12 minutes so our potatoes are ready so we can you can poke okay let me you see that it's going through perfect so it is ready so what we are going to do is I'm going to now deep deep fry my potatoes and that's really it that's it this is how I want to enjoy my chicken and potatoes tonight okay and my husband is about to be home so that's just perfect okay a very light dinner for me of course I cooked other African food <laughs> this is not the only thing but the only thing I'm going to eat is the chicken and my potatoes so it is time oh, yeah. to go ahead and deep fry our potatoes okay It's going to deep fry until it's a bit crispy, until the skin, you know, the skin is a little bit crispy. That's it. So only takes about, um, about 
five minutes, not even five minutes, huh? Maybe about three to four minutes. And I'm just going to wipe because I see oil all around and I do not like that. <laughs> guys this is ready okay our potatoes are ready and the outside is crispy and the inside is so soft guys so good okay super good you hear that the crunchiness and It is so good. All right. So this is exactly what I wanted. I wanted those gourmet potatoes. Okay. They are so good. They are so fancy. If you've never, if you have ever tried a hard chicken, African chicken, you want to try because it's so good. Try my way. And the potatoes are super yummy. If you've never tried these potatoes before, please do. You are missing out so much, okay? I'm going to show you the inside of the darker potato. It's so purple inside and it's so good. Oh my goodness. It is so good. My chicken, honey, uh, you know what? No comments. Just try, okay? So yummy. Oh my goodness, the crunchiness. On the skin and the softness on the inside is absolutely amazing oh la la I want you to try I really want you to try and the chicken is mm, mm, mm. it is just right and the, all that those ingredients honey melting in your mouth oh my gosh <laughs> so yummy I am proud of my cooking, guys. You know, sometimes when I cook and I'm like, thank you, God, for the blessing. Thank you for the blessing of cooking. Look at the inside of the, the gourmet potatoes. Oh, my goodness. I cannot explain the taste. It, it's like a little bit sweet, a little bit salty.